A gold star mother is if you've ever if you've lost a son or a daughter in war, if you've lost your child at war, you're either a gold star mother or gold star father. I lost Austin on his first deployment. We lost him on November 29, 2010. He was into his 96th day of, of deployment. And his unit was out on a training mission. They were training the Afghans and they were on a break. And the guy picked up his gun while they were on a break and shot Austin and six of his brothers and killed them all. They had no protective gear on. No guns, he just picked him up and killed him. What's after that? You talked about trying to get back to So what's after what? that? I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to be around anybody. I didn't want to talk to people. Because it's every breath you take, you feel it every second of the day. You know, it's, it's there. It's not something you ever really get over, but you get better at dealing with it. So what I've done personally, to do that, we started our organization, our Parker County Gold Star Families, because we knew that America doesn't want to forget about our kids, and they don't deserve to be forgotten about. There have been so many wars, so many families that have lost, and people don't realize today our freedom. We have our freedom because kids <clears throat> went over there and deployed, and they lost their lives. Austin has a son here who is now eight, and he'll never know his dad. So it's important that I do something to make sure he knows what his dad stood for. And so we're building our park in Weatherford, and it's for past, present, and future military. Everyone deserves to be remembered. And the way our world is today, you know, people aren't even respecting our flag. And when a Gold Star parent sees that happen, it really hurts because that's not what should be happening. You know, people should be respecting and honoring our military. The ones that are here and the ones that aren't. And the ones that have issues, we need to, we need to do something to make a difference. We don't know what it's like to be in their shoes, but we know it's hard because being a Gold Star parent is hard. So I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't, you know, it was, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to associate. I just isolated myself. A lot of the veterans, well, the veterans that I interview, a lot of them, they're talking to veterans. But you were talking to parents. Right. So how can, can you encourage them or the steps to take? What I did personally, I wanted to feel everything Austin felt. I wanted to be like Austin. I wanted to know what he went through. I wanted to know everything. So I joined the Texas State Guard because I wanted to put the uniform on, I wanted to put the boots on, you know, and get some grasp, even though what I did was nothing compared, you know, to what he did. But it helped me. It helped me to be close to him. So that's, that's the first thing that I did. And then we lost Clayton. And Austin and Clayton were friends. And when that happened, it, you know, just, it starts all over again. And I said, we cannot let our boys be forgotten. I was going to wait until I got to my two-year mark with Austin. And then we lost Clayton. I said, we can't put this off any longer. I said, we have got to do something. So that's when we went to the city, and they granted us a city park and told us if we'd raise the funds that they would, they would give us the park to remember our kids. Our, in our, our whole military, our past, present, and future military. So I enjoy being around the veterans out here. I mean, that's my heroes. Those are my people. You know what I mean? The people I look up to, the people that I respect. I don't care about Hollywood and all the garbage going on. What is important is the people that are sacrificing for us. And that's our military and our, you know, our police officers, our, our first responders. And the way the world has gotten here lately, it, it's scary because everything that our kids gave up, they gave up their lives for us to have peace and freedom. And our world is not the way it should be. Well, well what, I mean, no, the, the we started fundraising. September was three years ago. Okay. And so we, we now have 
$230,000. And we already have our fountain built and our fountain has our battlefield cross in the center of our fountain, which is our prayer garden. So people can come to our park and we want all the Gold Star mothers from everywhere to come put a brick down when we put our bricks down next year. So their kids can be remembered, siblings, grandparents, whatever the case may be. So our park is happening and we won't stop until it's complete because it's, it's, it's here for us, our heart. It helps our heart to heal. And Austin's son, there's so many kids that went over there. Austin was a kid, he was 19. There's so many kids that went over there and they had kids and they're, they don't get to know their fathers and their mothers. And so it's important that we make sure we do something where they have some type of grasp and we can educate other kids that have gone to the same high school our kid went to, our kids have gone to. And know, hey, wow, someone from our town, actually, we have our freedoms and our privileges because of what someone from here did. And we want people to grasp that because people, people forget. They, they forget real quick. And we shouldn't forget. 